Okay, we're on. Welcome everybody. Um, Six fifteen, and do we um, before we start, does any um, one have any public comments that they want to make about anything that's not on the agenda? I do. Do you? Yeah. All right. So it's like new business, I guess you'd call it. Um, well, the new business would be on the agenda, but for public comment, we can have so. Yeah. Um, um, okay, well, we'll get to that. I don't know if that. I'm in the right category here. All right, well, we'll get, we'll get to that. Um, okay. So, first off, we'll start with the minutes from the last meeting, which is um, July 26th. And I saw they look fine to me, so I'd move to approve, unless you guys have any corrections to that. No, it's only good to me, too. Yeah. I so, second. All in favor? All right. All right. All right. That's for you. And we're on, um, is Greg, we're waiting on Greg possibly to? He's in Zoom. Isn't he? He's in Zoom. Greg, are you in there? Zoom. He's in Zoom. Okay. Here we go. Somebody else trying to, here he is. He's just, just showed up there. <clears throat> we'll let him uh, wake up his, um, Well, while we're waiting for him to boot up, you want to, um, now we can, what's, um, you had a oh, comment that you want to make? Now, yeah, he just showed me. up, Martha. Yeah. Sure. I, I just have a thing to read. Is that okay? Hey, welcome. Hey, how are you? Good. We'll be with uh, you in just a minute. <laughs> you guys hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. I see it too. Okay. Um, um, but uh, we're you lost that, your place we're, in line. We wait a second. We're not quite. Okay. We're almost ready for you. Okay. All right. We're gonna <laughs> let the um, guest comment come first. Okay. Yeah. Take it. If anybody doesn't know, my name's Larry Creech, and I live on West Hill Road. Um. I've been a resident of Rochester on West Hill Road since 2006. Um, I'm full time for quite a while. At times I was part time. When my wife and I bought our property, I uh, was unaware that West Hill uh, Bridge was a limited access road. Uh, there were other permanent houses as well as some camps on our road and Jones Mountain Road, which is also uh, has Henry Garza has a house there as well. Garzia. Garzia. I've only known him forever. <laughs> um, Obviously, those homes and camps just didn't fly over the bridge to get to their home sites. Um, in fact, the 16,000 pound sign before the bridge has been ignored forever by everyone on that road. Um, capital improvements from well drilling to cement work to excavating modular homes, logging trucks, town trucks, excavators with heavy equipment, et cetera, et cetera, have all surpassed the weight limit on that road numerous times and very frequently. Um, people have invested in their, in their properties and paid the increased taxes on their capital improvements um, just like everyone else in town. Uh, when we moved here, the select board did not say, Mr. Creech, this is a limited access road. They didn't say your taxes would be, would reflect a limited tax rate by living on that road or an assessment. People on West Hill just want to live their lives like everyone else in town. There comes a time when things have to be performed on our properties. Maintenance, like septic improvements, um, new wells, and a whole myriad of projects which the wooden bridge can't handle. Over many years, residents have, have addressed these issues to the select board and asked for the, the bridge to be improved. Many scenarios have been voiced by the select board on upgrading the bridge. How long can this baseless talk go on? No offense. <laughs> I'm 69 and the years are ticking by and I'm getting older and I need a new bridge. Um, 
just like to bring to the attention of the board, you know, there's some very large monies that are windfall monies from the state that we might be able to get some money from for the bridge. We have also been waiting for the National Forest Service to kick in money, and they were supposed to do the bridge this year, but they didn't, and I don't know why. We never found out. Um, there are state and federal grants for things, and maybe we could get some money from heaven. I don't know. Um, the people on West Hill don't like breaking the law by exceeding the weight limit on the bridge. We all know what it is. But what can we do? Promises, promises from the town, but no action. Uh, my final observation driving about the town is that West Hill Bridge is probably the poorest bridge in town in worse shape. Um, you know, I've talked to the state about this, and obviously West Road is not a state road. Route 100 is. Um, it's a town road. But the town said that, you know, people trying to move on and do bigger capital improvements on West Hill, which will make the town a little richer in tax money, um, we could rent a smaller Bailey Bridge and put it over that span so that we can run a cement truck up there legally without breaking that bridge or a dump truck full of topsoil or crusher for a, you know, a site for a, a barn or something like that. So, you know, I've done some investigation. I'm just hoping that I'm not talking on deaf ears. Um, it's been a long time and you know, everybody up there feels the same way. Somebody's up there trying to sell a piece of property for seven figures. So, you know, it's not like they're, we're all not paying taxes. And we're, it's not like they, they, if they sell their property, they won't be bringing a moving van up both ways to try to get across that bridge. So that's my little speech for tonight. I just hope you take it into consideration. and. Uh, Hope something happens before I'm 70 or 71. What your last name is, sir? Creech. Creech. Larry Creech. C R E E C H. C R E E C H. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And I don't know if Henry wants to say anything. Uh, he's also well, yeah. Favorite. The only thing I can say is that uh, yeah, I've been <clears throat> coming up here for since 1999, and I will say that the road has been approved. And obviously, the, you know, the big slide area, that was one, one that big was, thing. I understand that, you know, that was a huge amount of money. Uh, but I will say that, you know, the service, you know, as far as maintaining the road and everything, has really improved over the past two years. So, uh, you know, on the other side of it. And yeah, one of the first years I came up, you know, I met a logging truck coming down. <laughs> the road and it was in the winter time and that was that was quite a scare for me um, but uh, yeah that's that's about all right all I well, there's, there's no it. question that the town that's something yeah. the number one bridge on the town that needs addressing yeah. and it's not like we haven't been working on it and we actually had a plan with the Forest Service and, and what changed in their priorities or their funding I can't speak to that, but it's it's not like it's not on our radar to do that, you know. And it's um, and the what was I guess as you know what was driving the Forest Service to um, invest in rebuilding that bridge was the timber sale that they planned yeah. and and contracted for up above that, and that's not been canceled. So it's it's it's. It's it's they have an ETA on that? We don't. We don't have an ETA on that. And they started it. We were going to do it. They were going to do it, and then they canceled it on us. They have the design all made up. Yeah. Yeah. I believe Joan could even answer tens some of, of that. Yeah. I think. What's that? Yes. Yeah. It's tens of thousands of dollars already invested in the design of the bridge, so it's not yeah. dead, dead, dead in the water. Right, yeah, I've read the National Forest proposal on it. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's all done. It looks, it looks good. Yeah. 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 Y
looks great. Yeah, first class. And, and we were hoping they were going to start that this year, but yeah. they they canceled out yeah. in the last minute, and we they didn't yeah. let us know that until just well a couple yeah. months ago, yeah. really. Yeah. Yeah. Did they say that how long that improvement would take or anything like that? Uh, I I can't answer okay. to that. Joan, do you have any information about that? Um, and I was wondering, well, the last question was, do we have any time uh, uh, estimate of how long the project would take once the once it does finally begin, the West Hill Bridge? Uh, uh, several months. Several months, yeah. 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 And do we have, yeah. do you have any uh, more information than what we've already shared about what's than on the Forest Service mind or, or their their planning. You know that they want to do it because they uh, it's part of their logging for the IP for the uh, Robinson area. Right. And I think next year was the year they were planning to start. So you know I don't know the inner workings of the Forest Service at this point, but uh, I assume they're as anxious to do it as as we are. And uh, I don't know. I know is that for one reason or another, the Federal Highway Administration uh, so far is not giving any answers about funding. And it used to be um, something that was totally reliable. So we have a grant application in there from last year or longer, and I'm sure um, it's not very precise information, but that's all. Yeah. You kind of froze up there, Joan. Could you repeat that last bit there? Uh, well, all I know is that the Federal Highway Administration, which is where the funding for the actual construction would take place, would come from, uh, is not responding to inquiries from Green Mountain National Forest about uh, when when they're going to even look at the application that we submitted for. The so you get, so I think get the gist, yeah. Dark. Yeah. That's all I know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, if, uh, if this well, I do check in with Brian Austin about it. Um, the, the design work is almost done. It's probably going to be another month, maybe two, at this point. But uh, by the end of the summer, I expect we'll have a completed design. Yeah. So uh, it's it's uh, it's definitely in in process. It's just. Uh, you know, an extended process. So, because my last observation is, guys, is that if this goes on for years, would the town consider, because of the bridge is getting underpinning, is getting worse and worse? Actually, the framing on the bridge is probably fine for most anything. I, you know, two ton trucks came up last week, and, right. you know, with an <coughs> excavator, and they didn't fall through, right. but. Um, it's the, if if we look at this and start looking down the road, if, you know, a couple of years, I think maybe the town might want to look into just putting in a, renting a valley bridge from the state and putting it in and just putting some ramps and put it right over the bridge. Just that way we can run whatever we want up there. It's a, you know, give it some consideration. Do you have a project in mind that you have heavy equipment coming for? You do? We'll take it under advisement. I guess yeah. that's the best we can do right now, and then we'll try to get something going but to see what uh, they want to do. I mean, we may even want to talk to the Forest Service about it as far as, you know, dealing with that because they're going to want to put a temporary in there anyway. Anyway, if they're going to be running log trucks over it. So, so they might be able to, to deal with maybe just getting a temporary in there for, for the start, and at least that part would be done before they do the actual bridge. And that yeah. may be something they might be interested in and we might be able to talk with them about that maybe. I don't know. We'll have to put some thought into it and, and work for that, I think. You have to agree. Thank yeah. you. All right. Thank you. You're welcome to stay for the rest of the thrilling meeting, too. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so thank you. Um, since we've got Greg online here talking about the Riverbrook Drive culvert replacement. 
Um, you're on. Okay. Uh, you guys hear me okay? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. 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 Um, so, um, so just a little background. We, um, so I'm Greg with the White River Partnership. Um, we had a grant to do some culvert designs. Um, uh, so we, we had done some uh, culvert uh, assessments in the upper White River. Um, and we, we did some, uh, replace some culverts for the town and uh, the Wing Brook um, on Wing Farm Road. Um, I guess um, uh, Maple Hill, Marine Hill. Um, and a bunch there. Um, anyway, we, we had this uh, design money. And so uh, we, we had a couple of culverts in the upper white that kind of checked, uh, checked some boxes for us. And so one is in Hancock and the other was on Riverbrook Drive there in Rochester. So we hired Cricket and just said, you know, can you do a design? Um, and she will have a design in September, I believe, um, that I, I'm happy to share with you guys. But anyway, um, what I'm here to ask you guys is, um, uh, not unlike what we did on the in the Wingbrook drainage, um, if we could fund a replacement, like absolutely fund it, uh, no cost to the town, would you guys support us replacing that structure? Um, like I said, it checks a couple boxes for us. Um, and we think it'd be fairly easy to fund. Um, and um, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's, but we're uh, this is the same scenario as waiting for the Forest Service to fund the the West Hill Bridge. But um, yeah, you sound a little more um, more positive. Ready for action. <laughs> I'm sorry, you, you cut out there. You sound yeah. It's um, but yeah, you would um, I I think that we all agree oh, yeah. that yeah, you would have the encouragement and support of the town to take on that okay. project. Yeah. So exactly where is the culvert located? Right there, McJavis. Uh, the Drive, house. It's the only culvert on Riverbrook Drive there. Uh, so when you cross the Where bridge the there by the town garage, yeah, um, yeah, it's just uh, uh, it's it's you know undersized. Uh, so from a water quality standpoint, but then it also blocks up stream fish passage, which checks a bunch of boxes, which allows for funding. Um, and so the the only thing that uh, the town you know. We would purchase all the stuff. We we do it soup the nuts, and then the town would own it, um, and it would be a town structure. Mm -hmm. uh, once I get a design, I'll I'll share it with the select board so you guys. Can, uh, uh, it'll be, I think, a preliminary design from Cricket first of September, and I'll share it with you guys. And uh, if you have any, anything you want to weigh in. Yeah. Do you have a time frame that that you're thinking this would happen? Ooh, really last. Uh, it, uh, you know how the funding game works. Okay, right. um, uh, well, maybe next year uh, mm -hmm. if we get lucky. Yeah. Uh, but we would fund the whole thing. Okay. So. That include a temporary bypass there too. It would. That okay. would be part of it. Yeah. Um, it would be on the upstream side. We would work yep. with the landowners to secure permission to do that as well. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's a yes. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. Great. Yeah, appreciate it. Great. All right. All right. All right. Thanks. So, you're welcome. Good night. Yep. Good night. So, you know, it does does happen, you know, and it'll it'll come through. Well, we can find the other bridge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, we, you know, we'll work on something like for a daily there. That might yeah. be an avenue that the government might be interested in. They put in one in when they were doing some work over there for the slide. It's yeah, very, right, they did. Yeah. Yeah. And that thing was great. Yeah, they might be able to. Yeah. They might be able to get them to. Yeah. So, um, Joan, you've been listening in on this. Um, does that tie in with any of your updates for tonight? Uh, yeah, that was essentially all I had. I don't have much else to report. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Um, that was some good news. Yeah, I guess we'll wait to hear from them. Um, I don't see Tony here from the library to talk about anything. The boys are back from um, their week off on the highway. Um, the project is moving forward up on Bethel Mountain Road. It's, um, I, still, I don't know an exact completion date, but Excuse they're... Excuse um, me, I couldn't hear where you said the project was on Bethel 
I said the project on Bethel Mountain Road is, is moving okay. forward. Bethel Mountain Road is still closed for public um, passage, but it's, it's um, making progress on that. So, Terry, as a utility operator, you got anything you'd like to contribute tonight? No. No? Pretty boring. Pretty boring. Okay. <laughs> no, you're not we boring. Like that. <laughs> How about Jeff? It's your opportunity to break the, the spell of not much to say. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, Frank and I worked with uh, Energy and Efficiency Investments uh, to complete the walkthrough of the high school, I think that was last week. Um, provided the Black River report about the high school to Energy Efficiency Investments. Uh, that does give them a basic um, print size of the building. We've not yet been able to locate the school blueprints themselves. But I'll be talking with the new school principal when she's available about that. Um, let's see, I, have, I sat down yet again and looked for holes in uh, my data on uh, CB oil expenses uh, for the town buildings. And there do appear to be some missing building, billings in what they've provided and what we've been able to find in town. Um, I will call Charlie and find out what's going on because they just didn't respond at all. Um, they're, they're, you know, basically, you look at the various buildings and some of them are showing like half the usage of prior years with no real reason for that. So, yeah, looks like we're missing data. Um, I reached out to uh, Green Mountain Power uh, to talk with them further about the Resiliency Island area and the megawatts necessary to make it a go for them. I have not heard back yet from Josh. Uh, let's see. We have the Climate Economy Model Communities uh, Program of the Vermont Council on Res Ref Rural Development. Um, the first meeting there of a preliminary steering committee uh, is scheduled for 6.30 to 9 p.m. on uh, the 11th of uh, this month, coming up this week. That will be here at the uh, town office, and uh, Vermont Council on Rural Development, I think, has, has rounded up about 20, 20 to 25 uh, participants for that first meeting. Um, that's about it. I'll be here this week, and so should have a chance to work on some of these issues and hopefully clarify and move things forward. Yeah, and you'll be here on the 11th? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I saw the list of uh, people that have agreed to come and are contemplating coming, and it looks pretty, pretty good uh, diversity of, of the citizens of Rochester and a few people from other parts of the valley as well. Okay. Right. Thank you. Yeah. You got any other questions? Or well, the only other thing I'd add is that this is a preliminary and kind of a one-time steering committee that is going to be looking at a community meeting, setting up and, and creating a community meeting to look at our issues and, pri and prioritize them. It's kind of a, a uh, restart in a way of Envision Rochester. All right. Great. Thank you. Any so um, now on to the new business. Um, we have a resolution here to designate Two Rivers Ottaquichi Regional Planning Commission as administrator for the Rochester High School Building Study. So um, I move to appoint them as stated. We're using them, so I We're second using it. them, yeah. yeah. All, right. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. All right. Okay. That. Um, and then there's also, we'd like to announce a statewide memorial to honor Vermonters lost during COVID-19. Um, I don't know what form that is taking, but we're absolutely in, um, I, well, I would feel my vote would be in, in support of that. And that's um, Sunday. Yeah, that's um, Sunday at September 19th at 3 p.m. at the State House Lawn in Montpelier. It says here, uh, all Vermonters are invited to attend a statewide memorial service to honor Vermonters lost to COVID-19 and to bring healing to our spirits. And this will include a cer ceremonial reading of the names of all who have died. And um, 
And for information, you can contact Vermont Interfaith Action at 802-651-8889. This was so two rivers. Yes, two rivers. Yeah, yeah. you just That's got to sign it. Okay. And Julie needs to sign it. All right, and moving down the line, I want to approve a new annual map maintenance processor for the um, April one through March thirty first, twenty twenty two. April one. Wait a minute. That's um. We've already been through um, April 1, so yes. we're halfway through it. There you are, starts because the, the list grand list gets okay. lodged. Grand uh, list gets lodged, so we have to pull on the, the new guys. Year. Yeah, yeah. The Lister year. The Lister year. Yeah. And the, um, is it the same folks that did it last year? Uh, yes. Yeah, we just I got the new maps in. They look look pretty nice. Yeah, I, have, I haven't really looked at them yet, though. <coughs> CAI Technologies, so I'd um, move to approve that contract with them. What is the total? Seventeen hundred fifty dollars. Okay, I, I can't hear what you're saying about this. There's no just for the map maintenance. We're really approving what? We're um, uh, approving the contract for the next year of the tax map maintenance with, from CAI Technologies. For, and the number is seventeen hundred and fifty dollars. Favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Yeah. There we go. Yep. And we already talked about the River Book Drive covert replacement. So, um, Basically, that's um, we're on to bills, and it's been a um, nice having you all here. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Now go jump in the river. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, time to cool off. Yeah, all right. Thank you, Mark.